In this video, we will continue with Introduction to Vectors. You will find this on page 224 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's go through a few basic concepts of vectors. A lot of this we all already did in ordinary level. Column vectors. In ordinary level, in two-dimensional vectors, we describe a column vector as simply a vector whose components are listed vertical in the single column. Thus, say OA, then it's X, Y. Okay, this representation is called column vector notation. The values X and Y are the X comp um, component and Y component of X, Y. Okay, can you remember? The x-axis movement, the horizontal movement, over the uh, y-axis movement, the vertical movement. For example, the translation movement from L to N is written as the vectors. Okay, let's just look. The horizontal, you start there, so it's 1, 2, 3. It's in the right direction, so it's positive 3. Then you go down, um, then it's negative 2, and that's how you represent it. A displacement vector is a three-dimensional system needs to have three components. Okay, so in a three-dimensional system, it needs to have three components. The values x, y, and z are the x component, y comp component, and z component of x, y, z. So it's just having an extra one. For example, the translation movement from O to P. Do you see there is P? Okay, so remember this is X, this is Y, the back or front, and up or down is Z. Okay, so if I look at this one, um, let's just see, it's going to be 3, and it's positive, and then it's going 2 to the back, that's why it's positive, and it's going 4 up, and that's positive. And it's all positive because it was right back up. Okay. The, okay, now the other thing, the magnitude, the length of a vector. Let's look at that. We also did this in ordinary level. The magnitude of a vector is the actual length of the line segment, segment, how long it is. This is found using the components of the displacement of Pythagoras' theorem. Okay. The magnitude is shown by two vertical bars on either side of the vector. The magnitude of A is denoted by this, so vertical bars. And it's the length of the line segment A. This is also known as the modulus or absolute value of the vector that we did in chapter 8 or are going to do in chapter 8. If A is xy, then the magnitude of a two-dimensional is x squared plus y squared. But if B is xyz, then the magnitude of B is three-dimensional is x squared plus y squared plus z squared underneath the square root. Okay, let's look at an example. I'm just going to make it bigger so that you see better. Okay, there it is. Find the magnitude of each of the following vectors. Very easy. It's just coming from Pythagoras, Pythagoras theorem. So I square the x, I square the y, I take the square root, and I got my answer. And I can write it in search form. This is the simplest. The same year, I got 1. The same year, now I square all three compon um, components. So... Basically, I take the square root, and then the same year, and I get 1. A vector with a magnitude of 1 is called a unit vector. And that was in, where did I get 1? It was in B as well as in D. Okay, I want you to stop. This is very simple. I want to stop the video, and I think I will just let you do B, okay? And I'm going to let you do C. Yes, only that too. Okay. Or, sorry, sorry that I interrupt, because we are actually want to do, this is coming from ordinary, we'll rather do C and D for me in this video, I will do that too. Okay, let's start. Number C. Okay, so it was G and it was a three-dimensional, so it's negative 2, 5, negative 1. So if I'm going to find this, and remember this, and usually I can underline because I cannot make it bold. Basically, I just square everything. So it's negative 2 squared plus 5 squared plus 
negative 1 squared. And that is going to be 4 plus 25 plus 1, and that will be the square root of 30. Okay. And then the last one, number D, it already looked like a unit vector, but let's just see if it is. So it's going to be, actually that also be underlined, 0, 1, 0. So if I'm going to do, then it's going to be 0 squared, oh sorry, plus 1 squared, plus 0 squared. That is going to be the square root of 1. The final answer which is going to be 1. And that was just a revision, the magnitude of it.